Alright, so this is the VR player controller that I'm using. This is kind of where most of the uh, magic, I guess, happens. Um, so firstly, when we begin play, we check to see if the save game HMD settings exists, and then we either load it or create it. Um, I'm just going to zip through these again because of time's sake, but I'll try and write up a piece actually on it. Um, so this is the attempt I had at dynamically changing the screen percentage. It's off by default just because it's not exactly where I would want it to be um, for like any release, but you can play with it and improve on it if you wish. Um, next thing, yeah, this is the highlighting. So if we enable highlighting, um, we basically do a trace into the scene and then check to see what object we have and highlight it. Um, I'm not going to go too much into detail in this, but this is, yeah, again, where we have the um, tags can highlight or toggle on view. Um, so you can go through this at your leisure, I guess. Um, next thing, yeah, reset um, HMD. So that's kind of like one of those essential things you do need for the Rift. So I just put it in a um, map into the VR play controller so it's always accessible. Um, and this is saving the settings before you leave. Um, I'll just go through some of the variables in this uh, VR player controller now, just so you get a kind of sort of idea of what I was going for. Um, again, auto screen percentage enabled, whether you want it to um, try and get the screen percentage right for the frame rate. Um, again, it's a bit wonky, but you can try it if you like. Um, interaction distance is basically interaction distance. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, player can interact. Yes, I've gone, for the, gone through this a little bit before. Um, does highlight stick, though, is kind of the one I want to go with. So at the current, currently it's um, not enabled. It's disabled. So if I play this... You can see that when I'm looking at something and I look away anywhere, it'll unhighlight. However, if I go back and I enable does highlight stick, Let's compile that. You can see now that if I look away, it'll stay highlighted unless I look at another interactive, an interactable object. So this is kind of nice for a lot of things. Um, but yeah, it's just an option there for you.